Well, temperatures are dropping, the snow is starting to fall in the mountains, and skiers and snowboarders are anxiously awaiting opening day. And so is the region's economy. According to the Pacific Northwest Ski Areas Association, the region, Oregon, Washington, and Alaska, lost an estimated $87 million in revenue last year when the coronavirus forced them to shut down early. And the organization's president says that is a conservative estimate. A big question this year, how big of an impact will the pandemic have on the ski season? I recently went to two of our local resorts to find out what people can expect when they hit the slopes in the coming weeks. On a sunny late October day, crews were busy getting Mount Spokane Ski and Snowboard Park prepped for the season. Over the summer, the state park saw a 40% increase in visitors, and general manager Jen Van Lobensels doesn't see demand dropping this winter. So we're still clearing that out. The big challenge, managing that demand with COVID-19 safety precautions. Here at Mount Spokane, though, we're going to take the safe approach. We're really looking at our skier volume and dropping that to around 80%. This is the third wave. Following Governor Inslee's announcement yesterday, Jim says they'll no longer seat guests in the lodge. You'll have to eat outside or in your car. In terms of limiting capacity on the mountain, they'll do that by shifting house gears by their day of lift tickets. This season, you won't be able to buy your ticket at the window. You have to first make that reservation online via your computer or your phone. Then you bring your phone to the ticket counter here. The agent inside will scan the barcode and then issue the ticket. The idea is to cut down on the number of people in line and also to make the transaction process as safe as possible. So a little bit of a cultural shift, but I think it will also just help us manage that the mountain and make it safe. Jim urges skiers to make reservations early before they're sold out. As for season pass holders, nothing changes. No reservations are needed. To help offset reduced capacity, they're also expanding the hours for the core part of their season. We will be going seven days a week from December 18th to February 28th, and we add 14 additional days in January and February where we are going to seven days a week. Much of the ski and snowboard rental operations will be moved outside, and they're also considering moving some lockers outdoors. Another change this year will be the chairlifts. Management says expect to wear a mask unless you're with your family. And if you don't want to wear one of these, well, then expect to ride the lift by yourself. Meantime, about two hours northwest of Mount Spokane at Schweitzer Mountain Resort, similar measures are in place. They're also shifting to an online reservation system for day of lift tickets to limit capacity. Like Mount Spokane, season pass holders won't be impacted. And we really are counting on everybody to kind of do their part. Marketing manager Dig Krismer says indoor capacity at their lodge and their rental shop will be reduced. And when you are inside, you'll need to wear a mask. So there may be a time that if there's a lot of people, we may ask you to wait outside. So bundle up. And they're also encouraging guests to think of your car more of like a locker. Instead of storing your gear or your lunch in the lodge, come back down to the parking lot where you can socially distance. When it comes to ski lifts, expect more spacing in the lines and guests will be asked to stick with their family or the group they came with. The resort is also planning to bring in three food trucks here at the Gateway parking lot so skiers and boarders can come right off the mountain and grab some food. Bottom line, be prepared to be outside as much as possible. If you don't have a season pass, reserve your tickets early. They're already on sale. Despite all the changes, the skiing and snowboarding itself should be pretty normal. And right now, normal sounds pretty good. It's been a crazy year and so many things are going on in everybody's lives. The anxiety is high for a variety of reasons. So whatever we can do at Schweitzer to help kind of mitigate that and bring us back to that normal is awesome. I should also mention quickly, we shot those interviews before the recent snowfall. There was a whole lot more snow at the resorts right now. Of course, the big wild card going into the season is COVID. It is entirely possible that resorts will have to make changes, so it's very fluid at this point. Bottom line, though, be prepared to eat in your car and be outside as much as possible. If you're not a season pass holder, reserve your lift tickets early.